Hey, welcome back everyone. So nice job yesterday with your sketches. I know we had kind of a, a big job to do in, in going and recording in a science notebook or on Seesaw, um, the organisms of the new looking mealworm. We had a couple that had changed. And then the other thing we were examining were uh, two other org or have three other organisms. One was that super worm. We were just making a quick comparison and we'll watch that over time, comparing it to the current mealworm. And then we went and looked at this new organism called the wax worm, which we're gonna spend more time on today. And then after that, we took a look at the horn worm. Okay, so we also check that out. All right, friends, so today, and we're gonna look at two experiments that we did with the mealworm way back when we were just looking at mealworms. And one of them was, do mealworms prefer shade or light? Well, we're gonna do the same experiment except with wax worms, okay? And the other one we did was which type of food do they prefer? And so I have, some, have uh, four food choices that we're gonna be checking out, okay? So we're gonna do two investigations today. And then you're gonna make a claim, like what happened in each one. And then you're gonna also say why you think that happened, okay, with your claim. And that will be your assignment part today, but we'll mention that again before we're done here. Okay, so that is our plan for today. All right, so I have the questions written up right over here. I have to quickly move something over here. Um, so uh, again, I have some of our background data up here on mealworms, and we'll be adding to that for waxworms because that's our next organism. We found out also that mealworms kind of change over time as they get older, all right? Kind of like what we do, right? Okay, I look maybe a little different than I did when I was a baby. Okay, so our first question, investigative question, do waxworms prefer shade or light? We'll quickly get the data down. We'll check, we'll check out what they, where they are. And then we're going to say our claim, why we think that happened. And then you'll be saying why that happened when you uh, do your assignment. Okay. And then our other question, which foods do they prefer? Okay. We have apples, bananas, strawberries, and a potato. Okay. So those are the choices. I start out with 10 in each one. Okay. And then we'll make our claim. Uh, what of what happened? Okay, so we'll check that out. All right, let's first check out the shade and light experiment. Okay, so I'm going to just move the plate that I set up right over here. So um, I'm going to bring that. I'll bring the camera right over there so we can check that out. Okay, so we're going over and we are going to check out these wax worms. Okay, so I started with ten. I put them right in the middle here, okay? And I see two in the light right now, right? Okay, so where'd the rest go? Oh, I hope they aren't running around my house. Okay, let's see if they're under here and, whoa, yeah. So this is where the end of the, the shade was right here. So how many do we have in the shade? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in the shade and two in the light. Boy, I think that's the same data we had for the mealworms too, okay? Can someone remember that? Remember that data? Because when we go back to the to the board there or our notebooks, we'll re I can record that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for remembering that. Okay, because uh, I'll be asking you in a minute, okay? How many preferred shade and light? Because we're gonna do check out our food experiment, okay? So we'll be checking that out to see which food the mealworm, I'm sorry, the wax worms preferred, okay? If they did prefer one, okay? So let's go and take a look. All righty. So come on over. Actually, why don't I move this over here? This is my notebook card, that, what we were working on last time. But uh, let me move the experiment here. Okay. So foods are potato, strawberry, Banana and apple, all right, here we go. We have two that are fairly close to the strawberry, not right on it, nothing on the potato, 
So should we say two for the strawberry? Why don't I just make a quick note there? Two. Uh, that's not very dark. Let me try with this writing device. Two for strawberry. And then banana. Oh, we have some more. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. And then apple, we have three. Okay, well, they're not on the apple, but they're close. I'm guessing maybe they can smell it. So we'll say three there. Okay, so the most was to the banana, and then three to the apple, and then two to the strawberry. Okay, so who can remember that? Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks. Okay, all right, let's go back to our data board. Um, where we had a question, and let's go and put our data down and see if we can start to make a claim. All right, let's go right back here. All right, let me see. Can we see our board? Excellent. Okay, so friends, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at which ones they preferred. All righty, so someone was going to remember how many were in the shade and how many were in the light, okay? Yes, eight in the shade and two in the light. We said the same as the mealworm. Interesting, okay? So we're gonna go eight and two, okay? Eight and two there. So I think waxworms preferred, and now we know they prefer the shade, because, and you're gonna say why, just like you did for the mealworms, okay? But that's not all of the assignment, there's two parts, okay? So remember again, you're gonna say, I think the waxworms preferred the shade because, and then you'll say it, but we did one more experiment, okay? And that was on what food they preferred. Well, let's check out our data. All right, and we had down um, three went to the apple, okay? And we had for the bananas, we have four. Thank you for remembering our data. And then for the strawberries, we had one. I'm sorry, we had two. Two there. And then for the potato, zero, okay? All right, now on this one, we can make a couple of different claims, okay? So we might wanna, you know, we can say, I think waxworms prefer, or I think they didn't like the potato because you can go a couple ways. But I started this sentence, I did a sentence uh, starter for us. And so I think waxworms prefer um, bananas, I'm just going to abbreviate it. That was the one they liked the most, but apples were close by. So if you want to say bananas and apples, you can do that because they're very close. They're just a one, one, uh, waxworm difference. And then why do you think they like those? Hmm. Could it have to do with, I noticed that the color of the banana the color, whoops, um, the color of the banana here, where's the banana, right there, the color is similar, similar to the waxworms, could that be it? Or do you think it's maybe it, they have a sense of smell? Okay, or could it be something to do with the taste? Could you also put down why you think that, okay? So, you have two things you're gonna do. You're going to say why you think they preferred the shade. You can either make a video, you can make a recording, or you can write, okay? Or if there's somehow you want to show me the picture, might be a little tricky on this one, but you can, all right? Uh, you're going to do that for why they preferred the shade, and then also why they preferred bananas. If you want to add apples, you can too, okay? I'm also curious why they didn't like the potato at all. I love potatoes. Okay, so um, you're making two claims and that's what scientists do with their data. And I talked a little bit about science notebooking before. I hope you started a little science notebook or even keeping it on paper or whiteboard, just 
kind of writing things down that you observe. It doesn't have to be what we're doing with our science class. All right, again, you are going to share claims about uh, why waxworms prefer shade and why they prefer banana and or an apple, okay? All right, I look forward to seeing your submissions and you have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you next time.